In this example problem, we're going to find the low point and an additional point related to this vertical alignment. For our given information, we're told to find the elevation of the low point of the center line and the elevation of the center line at station 80. So we're looking for two different points here. We're told there's a curve that's present on this section of the road that connects an entrance grade of negative 3.7% and an exit grade of 1.9%. We're told that the PVI of the curve is located at station 89 plus 38.11, and it has an elevation of 419.88 feet. The PVT is located at station 97 plus 38.11, and we're given some information about the maximum and design super elevation, 8% and 5.4%. So the first thing, for, especially for a vertical curve problem, we should have a drawing for it. So even if it's just roughly and it's, it's not necessarily to scale so we're going to start with that entrance grade so our g1 is negative 3.7 percent g2 is 1.9 percent we're told the P, P, pvi 89 plus 38.11 at an elevation of 419.88 feet and there's our curve our parabolic curve that connects these two grades we're also told the pvt is at station 97 plus 38.11. And this actually will allow us now to calculate the length of the curve. We know the distance from the PVI to the PVT now, that's 800 feet. And we can double that to get a length of our full curve of 1600 feet or 16 stations. That's an important value for vertical curves. That also allows us to calculate the station of the PVC. It's gonna be 800 feet before the PVI, so that's at a station of 81 plus 38.11. This also tells us we were told to find the elevation of the center line at station 80. So this actually is off the curve, so it makes it somewhat easy for us. We can find this elevation just using the grade and the distance. So it's 938.11 feet from station 80 to station 89 plus 38.11. That PVI has an elevation of 419.88 feet. And so we're going to take that elevation, and we're going to add the grade times that distance. So 3.7 times 9.3811 gives us an elevation at station 80 of 454.59 feet. We next, and we know we're going to need this for our following calculations we need to find the elevation of that pvc and we can find it in a similar manner that we just found the elevation at station 80 419.88 that's starting at our pvi and then going up that grade of 3.7 a distance of eight stations to get the elevation of 449.48 feet next we can calculate where our low point occurs that's again one of the things we're asked for to determine the elevation of the low point we can use our equation for x, x equals negative g1 times l over g2 minus g1. Pulling in our numbers, we have minus negative 3.7, so that cancels out. So 3.7 times 16 over 1.9 minus negative 3.7. So again, those negatives cancel out, you end up with a positive. That gives us an x of 10.57 stations. So our overall station of that low point is we're going to add that x to our PVC station to get our overall station of the low point. So our low point occurs at station 91 plus 95.25. And this should make sense if we're familiar with symmetric parabolic curves. The low point and or the high point always occurs on the side of the PVI with a flatter grade. We're going to see that happens in this case. Next, we're gonna now look for the actual elevation. So we're gonna need our parabolic equation. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, customizing that for vertical curves. a is g2 minus g1 over two times l, b is g1, and c is the elevation of the PVC. And we already calculated that elevation of the PVC because we know that's important when we're dealing with vertical curves. Plugging in our values here, our x, we just calculated that previously of 10.57 stations. That's the distance from the PVC to that low point. And now we're plugging in our other values, our G1, our G2, our length. So Y equals these inputs now. And so our elevation 
of our low point is 429.93. So station 91 plus 95.25 at an elevation of 429.93 feet. And so that answers the two questions we were looking for, elevation of the low point of the center line, 429.93 feet, and the elevation of the center line at station 80, which is 454.59 feet.